Yo, what's up guys, Keep It Chill here, and welcome to a, another sort of discussion video. Today, we're going to be discussing some stuff related to the Nintendo Direct. We're not going to react to it, if you're wondering. Um, before we get started, also, also I just want to know what people are wondering. Why did I not make a reaction on the Nintendo Direct when it came out? I did actually react to it. Um, I actually have like the, the recording, but the only problem is, is that... It takes a while for it to download. I think when I downloaded it, 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 it was my gigab my, cause I had to download it and on to save it, and it took like so much uh storage and it got to the point where I think it crashed my uh laptop for like twice yesterday. So yeah, it right now right now probably after this I might upload it again. But if it doesn't upload, then that probably means I might not post the reaction video. So yeah, I hope you guys understand. Where it's coming from but and uh kind of like a makeup for that i'll just talk about what i'm excited for based off this direct yesterday so like i said this this came out yesterday and there was some good stuff i gotta say honestly i think it was this direct was honestly pretty good uh just like game wise because there was actually some real they actually started this direct really strong i mentioned it and i remember i mentioned it in my reaction that this direct started pretty strong, and honestly, it kind of ended in a strong way, if you kind of think about it. I know a lot of people say, oh, this direct was bad, or there was not much to it. But honestly, I think this direct was pretty decent at its best. But, yeah, overall, um, let's talk about some games that I'm hyped for and to talk about. So, for, obviously, the first thing that they started off with is Fire Emblem Three Hopes. Now, I think this is, I think from my from what um from what i heard i think this is based off it looked to me when i first saw it i thought this was the sequel to fire emblem three houses i never played fire emblem three houses so i don't know much about about the story and all that stuff but i know one thing for sure it, it does remind me of fire emblem three houses and i think that's what kind of it was good it that's what they're kind of taking for and honestly it it, it looks it looks good. I never play Fire Emblem, so I'm probably not going to get the game. But honestly, it, it looks pretty good. So that, but overall, a Fire Emblem Three Hopes. It looks interesting. I don't think it's a game I'm not going to get since I don't have three houses. But overall, it, it looks good. All right, the next thing I'm going to be talking about, or the next thing, if it loads, um, let's, oh, we'll, we'll we'll wait for a little bit. But, hope you guys are... Okay, there you go. So, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the new Mario Strikers game coming out. If you guys didn't know, after this trailer, it shows the Mario Strikers trailer. And I, I am so hyped for this trailer. I remember when this... this I remember when this shot appeared. I saw that... I think the first thing I noticed was the Mushroom Toad House. And I was like, wait, Strikers? Cause it gave me off that vibe. I was, it, it had like a whole field and it looked like strikers to me. I was like, hold on, is that, is that strikers? And then I saw the ball and a lot of Mario characters. I was like, dude, that is cool. And it's cool to see strikers back. Honestly, first one, the first one came out. I think on the game GameCube. And then the net, the other one came out on the Wii. And honestly, I saw a lot of gameplay based off that. I saw uh, shout out to PK Sparks. I I watched him play it and. The game honestly looks really fun. <laughs> honestly, Striker's Charge was so much fun. Even the original was good. And honestly, I'm excited for this one. This Striker's com coming back with the special shots, with the items. It's about to be some chaos going on. And I'm all for it, honestly. It looks really good. And overall, I am, I'm really excited about this. I'm, I'm really excited about this, man. It, this game honestly looks like it's going to be a really good success. Next thing we're going to be talking about that I'm also excited for is the Splatoon 3 stuff. Obviously, Splatoon 3, I think, comes out in the holidays of this year. And they I should, they showcased a little bit talking about the Salmon Run, where um, Splatoon 3 is coming, or it's not, it's not coming back, but it's here. Well, it's not here, but Splatoon 3, Salmon Run's coming back, basically, if I'm trying to say. Salmon Run, if you guys remember from Splatoon 2, 
where he had to defeat the little um, Octo things. I forgot what it's called, but you have to defeat them, and then you get eggs, and then you're supposed to get a sort a sort of amount, and it's back in, in, in Splatoon three, which I'm excited for. I like Splat- I like the Salmon Run. It, it was honestly a really good game mode. In fact, that they brought it back, it's pretty cool. So, and it's cool that they 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 add they added some cool stuff, such as like different bosses. They added um, I think there was a I think it was a clip of this where you can throw eggs. Yeah, you can see like there's a boss boss you have to defeat. It's pretty cool, honestly. It looks like it's like different bosses also. It's like but it looks like it's the same boss, but with an upgrade probably, so yeah. And it's cool that like, there's a cool mechanic you could throw the eggs. Like that that's pretty sweet, honestly. That right that would really help with like getting close to like the victory. And honestly, I'm I'm all for it, man. I really hope we get some more. Splatoon 3 gameplay because those sand runs pretty cool. I kind of it, it was kind of expected to come back as Splatoon th- as Sam Run is do is really good. And the fact that it can't it's gonna come back, which makes sense. It's pretty cool. But it would have been cool to see like a little gameplay. I wouldn't be surprised honestly because I saw I was actually uh, seeing some actually was ch- looking at Discord, and someone was mentioning that maybe we might get a Splatoon di- uh, 3 Direct. And honestly, if we do, I'll be cool with that, honestly. I'll, I'll be probably another reaction I'll react to if I have enough storage. But honestly, I'm all for it if they are going to do a Salmon Run, or a, or if they're going to do another Direct based off Splatoon 3. But uh, regardless, I am really excited about that. All right, we'll move on. Uh, next, so the next thing, uh, the next thing I'm going to also talk about is the new Kirby game. Obviously, I think the game, the game's called Kirby Forgotten Land. First off, can we talk about the fact that Kirby is a convertible? <laughs> I, I literally, when, when I watched this, I said, hey, Kirby is, is the, is the baby's convertible. <laughs> but hey, it, it, honestly, he, he looks, he honestly looks pretty cool. I think there's like a mechanic that you can do. And Kirby is is a convertible. I've seen a lot of memes running around with that, but um, overall, this game looks really, really polished, and it looks so good. I think the only I think the only Kirby game I played on the channel was Kirby Superstar, which was the one on the SNES online. And I'll, honestly, I want to play more Kirby games because this Kirby is honestly, I really want to play it because it looks so good, like. This puffball looks <laughs> this puffball looks really cool and honestly the mouthful mode looks interesting and honestly the the game just itself looks so 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 good really good HG I'm, I'm really impressed but overall yeah I, I this this game looks so much fun you got um, a couple of mouthing like mouthing uh, equipment sounds a little bit wrong but um. You got you got a couple of stuff. You, you, it looks good. That's all I'm saying. It looks good. I'm excited for it. And overall, I'm really, really freaking excited for it. Now, before we get before we get to the next one, I kind of want to talk about some mini stuff, mini like games I'm excited about because they they kind of showcase a little bit. Um, if this if this load a little bit. Um, we got Kingdom Hearts coming to. The Switch now. I I honestly wanted to play Kingdom Hearts because Kingdom Hearts honestly looks really good because I never was. I mean, I I, I remember when I saw Sora in Smash. I was like, dude, that that's cool, honestly. And I always want to try out their games just to see why everyone's so hype about this character game into Smash and why people are excited for. It. Um, similar to, like, Banjo-Kazooie, I wanted to play Banjo-Kazooie, I haven't played Banjo-Kazooie yet, but I always wanted to play it, because I wanted to see what it, why people were so hyped about the game, why, why Nintendo added Banjo-Kazooie for a reason, due to the po- mass popularity in the game, and I, and same with Sora, honestly, and overall, I, I'm, it's cool, it's cool to see, uh, more Kingdom Hearts stuff in the game, so, yeah, I'm pretty pretty excited about that. And all right, next thing to talk about is the fact that Portal 
is actually coming to the Switch. I know this is like a whatever type or whatever like crossover, but I, dude, I was not expecting this. If anything, I'll probably I, I might make a I, I might make a uh, a gameplay video of this. I I know it's like too I know it's just like Portal, but Portal looks interesting to me. I've seen a lot of people. I think I've seen like Gary's mod or like different mod pe- mod people playing this, and the game looks severely good. So yeah, I'm I, maybe maybe soon I'm showing you might see Portal, <laughs> but who knows. But don't like count yourself like oh he's gonna do it now. But I'm just gonna just maybe I might who knows. All right, the next thing I think we also got. Oh yeah, we got this. <laughs> we got Nintendo Switch Sports now. Oh, this is this is gonna be interesting to talk about. Now Nintendo Switch Sports, I I don't know. I honestly am not sure because. Though Nintendo Switch Sports sounds amazing, I do have kind of a little bit of, I guess, I wouldn't say beef. I wouldn't say, I kind of like a, sort of okay. I'm kind of okay with it. First off, it's obviously based off uh, Wii Sports. And Wii Sports is, whew, I, 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 let's just say it's one of the best Wii games that we've gotten. Just the music itself, I really, I really like music. And the fact that, just the music alone in Wii Sports was so fire. If you guys haven't heard the Wii, Wii Sports music, please do. Please just look up Wii Sports music. You will not, you will not, um, you'll not regret it. it. It's really good. And um, gameplay wise, it, it gameplay wise, it's really good. I think the the only I think the only Wii Sports I remember because I remember I did play Wii Sports a couple years ago with my family. As well as a couple of years ago when I was little, we used to play uh, Wii Sports Resort, and that that was really fun. And it, hey, it's cool seeing that uh, another sort of sports game coming. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize, but the fact that we have another uh, sport sports sort of game, like Nintendo Switch Sports, is cool. But the problem, I think, just the only the complaint is that I just feel like Wii Sports is still gonna out. Out, outdone, or outdo Nintendo Switch Sports because Wii Sports is a classic. I just don't. I just feel like Nintendo Switch Sports is not going to sell as much as Wii Sports, in my opinion. And also, I realized there's no Mies. Like it looks like you get to play as these like characters. You get to probably customize, but you don't get to play as Mies, which kind of sucks because I kind of like Mies. That was kind of the point of like Wii Sports to so choose your me and all that stuff. So the fact that we're not we don't even get to play as Mies is kind of weird, <laughs> but honestly, I I can't. I that was kind of the, another complaint. I was like really off about. I was like, what, really? But yeah. All right, the next thing which I am so excited for this is Cuphead is getting Cuphead is getting a update. Yeah, Cuphead is getting an update. <laughs> I am so, so beyond excited for this, man. I am so excited. It's kind of funny because right now I am I am actually playing Cuphead as of right now. I honestly might make a live stream of it on the weekends because I was thinking of it. If you're wondering where I'm at, I'm almost done with the game, actually. I just need to defeat... I think I got done with all of Island 3. And I just need to just defeat the King Dice and the Devil. But overall... Cuphead is good, man. It, it it's it's a good game, and I'm excited for the update. We also got this, which is the Metroid Dread update. I actually wanted to play Metroid Dread. I I've been I the Metroid Dread is really good. I just haven't been playing the game as much, which I sucks because the game is really good. So I want to play more of it. But overall, I I'm really excited about this about about this update. I'm pretty sure a lot of uh. Good, good Metroid players are going to uh, beat this. All right, next thing we got is Earthbound coming to, uh, I think, the NES and SNES stuff. I'm actually kind of excited for this. I, Well, yeah, kind of, because Earthbound, I don't think, has a guy mentioned, mentioned as a Nintendo console for, like, a while, I think. Because I remember, I remember a lot of people wanted, oh, m- what, Mother 3 or whatever? Earthbound 3, Mother 3 or whatever? And a lot of people have just been requesting it, requesting it, requesting it. It's never gotten 
out on the on the on a switch. But the fact that we're getting Earthbound on an NES SNES console is honestly really really good, which I'm really happy about. It's probably gonna be one of those games where I just play it and just like have fun with it, similar to like Donkey Kong Country and all that stuff. But overall, it it looks severely severely good. Good. It looks severely good. <laughs> All right, and I think there's two more stuff I can talk about after this, so we'll get straight to it quickly. We got the Mario Kart update, and honestly, I was so hyped for this. I was honestly really hyped for this. A lot of people probably were doubting since Mario Kart, a lot of people want to see Mario Kart 9. But this, dude, I, I when I saw this, when he said we have some news for Mario Kart players, I was like, yo, don't tell me they're going to do a Mario Kart, and then... They showed all the tracks, and I was like, yo, that is so sick. And overall, I'm cool. I'm a huge, obviously, you can tell I'm a huge Mario Kart fan. I, You see me play Mario Kart Tour a lot. We're like on part 100 and more. <laughs> and plus, I, I've been lately playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe lately, and this game is just so much fun. And the fact that we're getting more tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, that is crazy. That's honestly crazy. Overall, the course pass honestly looks really, really good. I'm glad that they gave more tracks based off the old games. I remember growing up playing Mario Kart DS, and then I think Mario Kart 7. I think Mario Kart 7 might be one of my favorite games on the 3DS because that game was just... I had so much memories with that, as well as like Luigi Mansion, Dark Moon, and all that stuff. But Mario Kart DS was honestly the first Mario Kart I think I played, and I, dude, I had so much fun with that. But I'm just excited for all these remakes. Coco Mountain, Coconut Mall, even the even some of the tour uh game games. I really hope we get like some other tour um gate um tracks such as uh Vancouver Velocity, Los Angeles, and all that, all that stuff. And overall, I am so excited for this. I'm so excited for this. And then the final thing we have is Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And I never played Xenoblade Chronicles that Xenoblade is probably the another game on my like wish list that I want to play. Similar to like um, Banjo and uh, Sora, I want oh, ever since like Pirate Mythic got released, I always wonder like what is why are people so excited over Xenoblade. I've seen a little gameplay, just just a little bit, but not as much as the the other two games, Banjo and Kingdom Hearts. But the game honestly looks honestly good. Honestly, it looks really good. Like I said, it's one of those games that's like, it's a it's a game on my wish list that I wanted to play, and the game looks good, man. I'm a lot of probably a lot of Xenoblade Chronicles uh, fans are be so excited that a third one's coming out, so that's really exciting. And that's basically it, guys. That was my well, that was my sort of thoughts on the direct. Overall, like I said, the direct was honestly handled really good. There was some stuff that it that they did was okay. That was like, that was kind of that. But it was overall. I think they started strong and they kind of ended it in a strong way for everyone to enjoy. And overall, I like this direct. So let me know your thoughts on this direct. Uh, if you guys like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know your thoughts on this direct. By the way, peace.